Hi, Leaderboard Season 7. Uh, this is Palette Coffee Roasters. Uh, sitting beside me is Andy Beckham, our very talented multi uh, head roaster. Um, I'm Carl. I also work here. <laughs> um, uh, today we're here to talk to you about uh, the coffee that we submitted for this year. Yep. Um, this season we have a washed geisha from Raquel Lasso at uh, Finca La Bohemia in Quila in Colombia. Um, we're big fans of this coffee. Uh, we have been brewing it for a number of months now and enjoying every way we have roasted it. So from personal experience, I think this coffee is very important to everyone here at Pallet. Um, we have very intimate knowledge of it. Uh, one of our baristas actually uses for regionals for a barista championship. Um, so we were tasting it every day. We got to know it very well. Um, the tasting notes that we came through with were pomegranate, strawberry, pink grapefruit, and jasmine. Um, it's got some really nice soft geisha notes, but it's got really nice fruit forward that comes through the finish. Um, it's just a really pleasant cup. Um, I really personally enjoy kind of the some of the creaminess of the strawberry uh, that combines with the pink grapefruit kind of the same. Um, the ways that we would suggest for identifying this coffee without what it is, um, to me it's a pretty classic geisha presentation. It's got very long beans, um, much like many geishas do. Uh, it's obviously washed. You can see the, um, the, the chaff down the center line of the coffee. Um, it's, it's fairly, uh, I think it's, it's fairly average in density. It's not particularly light or particularly heavy. Um, and uh, it roasts very much like a classic geisha in my experience. I did a number of roasts on this coffee and um, uh, it roasts beautifully in a variety of styles. So. Um. Brewing, uh, we've enjoyed it as espresso. We've enjoyed it as a pour over. We even, uh, we've even tried it as cold brew. Um, I think it's a very versatile geisha. It offers a lot. Um, as far as pour over, we're generally doing a 15 gram dose to a 250 gram yield um, with uh, roughly a 50 gram bloom, and then we're following up with 50 gram pours all the way up to 250 every 30 seconds. Um, and that really brings out kind of the, the flavors that we're looking for. Um, espresso, we're going to pull it a little bit longer. We don't want it to be too intense, but we also want to kind of have that fruit come through. Um, that's, I think, all we have for today. So again, I'm Carl. I just work here. Uh, this is Andy, our head roaster, and thank you so much. Thanks, guys.